Okay. Oop, oop. Okay, apparently that gets put into the chat with that thing now. Uh, oh, hey, everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Praise so mighty Lieutenant Rick here at your service. And welcome back to Transistor. And, uh, yeah, I've been advised to swap over from the Nightbot chat uh, bot to uh, Stream Elements' chat bot uh, to try and fix, well... It's refusing to post links whenever anyone besides me tries to do that. But yeah, last time we played this game, we got really, really close to the end. And I'm pretty sure that within like half an hour to an hour, we will hit the end of the game. So I have a, <clears throat> I have a Return of the Oprah Din ready as a backup. And... Were those there before? Because that looks a bit it, like the process. They, they were there before, but they were new to this area. We commented on it, it last time. Okay. So they all knew. Royce has to be close. Anyways, I'll have to see about it denying that first post of it somehow. I don't think it helps to have that in chat. But yeah. Let's go find. Thank you. Let's go find the architect of all of this chaos. Uh, should you talk to him? Can we actually? No. Oh. Uh, terminal? Protected message, confidential. Okay. The code? Where I found it. Where I found it. Why? I found it on a lark. Right around here, geographically speaking. Although geography was only one small factor, there was also the math. Awful lot of math involved. Wasn't entirely myself when I found it, you might say. Sometimes I think I didn't find it at all. More like the other wise around, you understand? Maybe it was looking for someone like me. Hmm. I I honestly get the feeling that Royce isn't fully alive anymore. That he may have been absorbed by the process, which, well, he quote-unquote discovered. And, oh, hello there, Ram. Oh. Hello, Ram. Oh. Uh, wait, you noticed him this time? Yeah, because I saw his yeah. image flash up. <laughs> How are you doing, Ram? Tired, but okay. All right. Uh, yeah, welcome to Transistor in the end game, where well, <laughs> Digimon have invaded reality and are turning it into data. <laughs> oh good, I'm too. Oh good. I bet the janitor just sees the end of the world and goes, "I quit. I'm not cleaning that up." <laughs> uh, let's you okay see. There? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> just my throat acting up as usual. Let's see. Tonight I will be going in again. This time I'm 100% positively certain I figured it out. Tomorrow you will see it too. Exciting times, exciting times. That's written in the same way as the uh, the logs from the process uh, records. Let's see. Either way, now you're stuck with it. Okay, and uh, yeah. This is what is <laughs> the area has been turned oh, into. Okay, uh, this way? Is there another way here then? Uh, yeah, there is. But, yeah. Basically, uh... <laughs> basically, much of the area has been converted into, well, this. Oh, right. I'm gonna need to watch a lower read about this if there's any for... I know we, last time yeah. we accidentally... Uh, something happened that they, they spoke over the important lore bits. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is... Okay, there's... Oh, that's one of the haircut things. Yeah, the... <laughs> Enemies in this game have wacky names because uh, our friend who is stuck in the swords has been naming them. And, well, he's not very good at naming things. 
Also, he's, you know, stuck in a sword, but I figured, you know, that probably just means he doesn't care that much to name them. True. Yeah, no, wait, I mean, I thought it was in the other guy in the television that named them. At least some of them. Nah, oh. Uh, I, I, three still up. Oh, did a lot of damage. They don't. <laughs> uh, I guess they. I guess he got to a similar name or something. Or, uh, wait, he, oh, they're invisible, so I can't do anything against them. I can, however, bomb that thing to make no blocks. Why is that blocked? Yeah, I, I still don't fully get the combat with this. Uh, <clears throat> oh, wait, that, that was me being dumb. That was. That's our quote. No, not really ally, more of passing witness, you could say. Okay, now they're shooting stand. I. What's me. I get it that we can't. I, I get it that we can't attack them while they're stealth, but it does. With, oh, shared. They're sharing their status. That's it. Okay. So this one is being shooty. This one is being stealthy. Okay. I think I finally get that now. Uh oh. Okay. Uh. Just bomb the hell out of you then. Okay, gotta be careful because I can't, you can't take another hit. Nope. And of course now we get the super user status. Um, can we even see anyone from here? Yeah, we'll have to waste it on that then. Okay. Yeah, the, the, I just do not fully get the combat, but it is good, but it just really has me confused as to what the hell some things actually do and such. Now that one is masked. You aren't masked. Okay. Like it, there should have been more explanations, I'd say. Yeah. No. Hmm. Could it be that they want you to explore and learn it yourself a little bit? Yeah, that would be more useful Pardon. if you'd have more chances where you, well, wouldn't likely get killed. <laughs> yeah, and they usually they do have that, that mugging idea, they usually will tell you, don't be afraid to, ex uh, to try out, out an experiment or something like that. They will usually tell you. Yeah, but the problem that you with this is. Some experimenting. Yeah, the problem here is, though, if you try to experiment you're likely going to get your ass kicked in some of these fights. Yeah. And now they're both stealthy. Oh. Okay, just bounce the fuck out of you with that. And... Uh, oh dear, I used to realize I'm here. Oh. No. Him over there is a human, and he, over here we have me and Rom, who are not. Sitting away in a corner, like Muppets. Good hit. <laughs> I mean, I bet you 50 bucks we could make pretty good Muppets. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't do a bad thing, but I do what can I agree to do. We probably would do good, uh, as good Muppets. <laughs> oh, here, here's uh, a fun fact. Here's a random ass fact that I found out ooh, fucking weeks ago and I need to tell somebody. Did you know that Big Bird almost died in the Challenger explosion? Uh, what? <laughs> what? I, I think I'd heard something like that, but... Uh, come the fuck on, now there's... Now one is stealthing and the other is healing them. I, I feel like I might hurt it, but I'm sure. There, just we, fuck off. The day that... Well... John's gun. Um, the day the Challenger exploded. Well, the funny thing is, the idea they had prior to the teacher in space program 
was okay, to put Big Bird in the Challenger here. and <laughs> take him to and take him to the ISS. That would have that, been uh, that would have been a hard one to explain. Like you, they see Big Bird going into the freaking thing, and then on live television, just watch it get absolutely nuked. <laughs> Oh, good God. Yeah, that's what happened. Basically, a teacher joined uh, the Challenger crew because they were going to go up. They were going to go to the ISS for a bit. And, you know, they'd have somebody in space. And this was, you know, one so, come on now. small step for man, on. one large step for <laughs> education in the United States. But what happened was that as the Challenger was going up, it exploded. Yeah. Uh, and that was a massive tragedy. And what made it worse was that everyone was watching live on, like, televisions at schools and stuff. Yeah. And... So that is, you know, a tragedy. I'm not going to mince words. But you get submitted to the ridiculous insanity when you realize... Big Bird could have been there instead of the teacher. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bloody heck. It, that that it is something, that, that's one of those things that's so dumb in a way that it's, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. If nothing else, the insanity of it. Yeah. Just Big Bird dying in the fucking Challenger accident. And they basically uh, have to retire the character. Yeah. Also, fun yeah. fact. Everybody uh, saw him explode. <laughs> yeah. It, it is grim, but it's also just so ridiculous. And it, it, yeah. yeah, most people know Black... No, no, why did I almost go for Blackbird? Big Bird as uh, the big yellow guy and such. But he's many different colors in many different areas. Like, in the Netherlands, he's blue. And in... South America somewhere? He's green or something? I think he's still yellow. Well, at least in Peru, he's still yellow. Okay. Must be the place. Curious? Hi, Royce. If you can hear me. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. Well, well, come, come in. Come, come on. Inside, inside my studio. studio. I'm quite, quite on arms, as you, as you can see. see. Yeah, and it's safe, safe in here relatively. relatively. Safe. Safe. Yeah, at least for now. Okay, what Here's are you planning? Thing. Now, if the transistor doesn't go back in its cradle, then why? You and I both... Okay, gotta go. Lunch is here. Anything anymore. Okay, okay see later. ya. You, me, this is rum. Oh, wait, no, that's not the food. That's so, actually my pills. Be, our, please, be right back. Don't let okay. my work go to waste. <laughs> I'm being reasonable. Yep. Now, full disclosure. Full disclosure here, which is, I am one, positively certain, 100% that this will work. Which is, transistor plus cradle equals no more process. No funny business, okay? Uh, like you were... 100% certain you could control you know you the process. Also, uh, it's why we're here. Also, again, why would you leave the transistor behind if it was this fucking important? Just get yeah. Off. Let's see. Look, no matter what happens, just I love you. You know that. I still press X to down. I know you can hear me. I won't let you go. Stay with me. Stay with me. Wasn't that similarly said at the start? The good news. Well, uh, the process. I think we got it. 
contained it. So the town is going to be all right. It's just, well, someone's going to have to rebuild. But we flew a little close to the flame there, so now we're here, not there. We're stuck. And unfortunately, the only way back that I'm aware of is, well, let's get this over with. Unpleasant. Uh, okay, boss fights. Okay, so we get everything restored. It isn't going to be a one-on-one -on -one duel with one of us getting stuck in here forever or something. Well, Lucy, we might be finish it way earlier than you expected. Yeah. Okay, let's put John's there. Uh, Breach has never really failed us. Especially with Spark combined into it. I'm so glad I bought some ships. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm, I've been keeping an eye on my mic at the moment, and so far I'm surprised the mic has not been picking up me sh issuing ships. Yeah, I, I think noise cancellation software is specifically uh, spe has a specific bit just for that, where you're just Yet far you, enough away. That you have been able to hear me eat the, those huge marble Oreo chocolate cookies. Let's see. Let's put this on breach as well. Hmm. Actually, let's remove John from there. We put this <laughs> as a passive. Hmm, what? Yep. This as a passive but, as uh, well. Both when you and Rom has been saying John, it, I don't know what it, I, I'm trying to. Convince myself that you both are not saying yawn for some reason. Uh, let's see. I'll put mask on instead as a power to just get away. Oh, no, I think I know why. I think I may have heard one or two many times of the role yawn meme from Garfield. Okay. Um... What happens if we try to put that on charm? Okay, mask will temporarily turn. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll be useful. That'll make us disappear, and the enemies around us turn against uh, their others. So, who gets to go first? How about me? Let's see. Okay. Uh -huh. So, oh, now it becomes a turn-based or something. Uh, let's see. Get behind you. Oh, right. He's using one as well. Yeah. Uh, actually, I believe that makes vulnerable. Yeah, there we go. Let's actually do a little bit and then we'll just mask and flee. Okay, and then we just repeat it, and suck it, Royce. Oh, that missed. Yep, it's his turn now. Uh, what are you... Oh, you're shooting. Okay, get back here, you. This is probably not going to kill. No, because he has powers left to sacrifice. Oop. Okay, this is bad for us. He can he can get backstabs in. Uh, okay. There. Easier to click. Great. There. 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 And then try and get away. Ah, oh, damn it. Transistor. Only one of these is good for the return trip. Let's see. Okay, my, my guess is that we are really in a sort of cyberspace now. Okay, there. 
Motherfucker's masked. Okay, might as well mask ourselves then. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Uh, why did ours end first? They must have had something to extend it. Okay, come on. Uh, Royce. Royce, finish your damn turn. Okay, that's Breach gone. Come on, come on. Yep. Oh. Now, oh, miss. You know, I truly thought how could the transistor be anything other than one of a kind. But I've been wrong about a lot of things here. I admit, all part of the job of having theories. Being right sometimes and also being wrong. Yep. Well, how, how about this love, for uh, being wrong, then? Yep. Welcome back, Rom. I'm back. Oh, welcome back. Snook his ass. Again. Okay. okay. Let's get behind you. Unmask. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've lost our big hitter. Yep. Isn't going as well as I would have liked. The owl. Dude, you're the final boss. It's okay to have an emotion. Wait, did he cop? I think he copied our abilities, but for to some degree. Uh, that's mass gone. Okay. Out of your ring. Get closer and whack him. There. Okay, just gotta get distance. Oh, uh. Bye bye. Maybe. Get fucked, Royce. Oh, and he has one more. One second. Okay. Who's here? Okay. Uh, get the transistor. But then I have a good piece, Rom. No, you don't. And we now have to get through a lot of health with just a basic crash. I think that was the ping of him getting his turn as well. Okay. Yep. Now. Uh, oh, uh, okay, he was dropping explosives. Okay, get back here, you. Uh, damn it. Let's try this then. I'll just get out of there before that even explodes. Okay. A ton of backstabs. One more turn should do it. Oh. Wait, what? Trace bank. Okay. Hmm. Okay. One, two, three. And the last one for the roads. There we go. Impossible. No, no, it can't. It can't be. God, please don't be God. Please don't. Right access, what? Okay, Look now this. this whole town. Okay, now yes. yep. It's yours now. A blank canvas. Yeah. And you still have the brush. Better you than the camarada. Yeah. Even if they say that they're meaning in that they were meaning well their actions and results were well far from 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. So where do you want to start? Head back to your place in High Rise. Fit some gold walk. Junction chains. All the drinking joints in the canals. What are you thinking? Hey. Mm -hmm. Back where we started. Now can we get our voice back as well? Oh. Oh wait. Oh. Look. First off, though. Okay, did not see that coming. What the heck? Seconds march into the past. past. Yeah, I did, I, <laughs> I did not uh, expect uh, suicide by transistor. So does that mean that they're both in the transistor now? I, I hope they're both on, otherwise that would be even more sad if they are not. Yeah, but that also kind of means that uh, the city is kind of left dead. I hope that's a sign to says they are. I think these are... I think these are bits from the past. I, I guess we'll get our answer at the end of this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely an unexpected end. Uh, well, I guess that gives me time to go look up on TV tropes if there are alternate endings. <laughs> and I like how they're keeping him partially obscured all the time. Okay, let's see. TV tropes. Transistor. Uh, let's see. Okay, so they do end up together. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Complete the story. Uh, okay, no alternate endings, it seems. Resistant? What? Listen to voices. Yeah. Uh, I guess, in a way, it sort of makes sense that, like the song is saying, always buy you. Know, you because technically, they're both immortal now. <laughs> and yeah, well, half an hour, after all, it seems. Okay. It's still pretty high yet. I will say this about you. You're not pulling punches. Oh. 
Recursion? Exit this run? New game plus? I'm guessing? Uh, that, that would make sense? What uh, did I miss? Uh, <laughs> the ending. Uh, yeah, well, Red apparently, instead of... Uh, instead of uh, redesigning the entire town like however she would have wanted to, uh, instead uh, she joined uh, Mr. Nobody, as he's called on the TV Tropes page, inside the transistor. Well, and I'm, yeah. So much for I mean, saving the world, I guess. It wasn't the world, it was more the city. And I'm guess, I'm guessing in a way she... Yeah, she leaves it up to the people to rebuild the city instead of letting one person dictate how it gets to be changed. Uh, let's see. Recursion. Let's see. That's uh, New Game Plus. Mm -hmm. yeah, da, da, da. Okay, apparently there is a mythology gag in that it will be... <laughs> they will have... Uh, moments where they go didn't this happen before as well like similar to how similar to new game plus in bastion as well but uh yeah as we expected ended a lot sooner than we thought uh thank you for using the transistor the recursion option will be available on your return sign off for now okay uh um, we're playing i guess yeah but first though what we're going to do now wrong. Is we're going to look up a bloody wiki on this. Let's see. For the transistor wiki. Then I'll just pull the page out. And let me see. Transistor, change the source to. Uh, the internet. Oh, right, it's, uh, let me just move that down. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to turn on the display capture in a moment on this. So, transistor wiki. And this should capture the center of this. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I can see it. Okay, let's see. That uh, hell. Uh, da, 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 yeah. Cloud bank. Let's start with this place. What the hell is this place? Let's see. This is the place it is the city in which the majority of Transistor takes place. It is home to Red, the Camerata, and all the other characters of the game, and is under attack by the process. Let's learn more about the process. Let's see. The process is a legion of semi-autonomous robots that are killing the citizens of Cloud Bank. They are the primary enemies faced by Red and hail from a different yet intimately connected reality. AKA, yeah, basically hostile Digimon. They were initially used by Royce Brackett to regulate, repair, and reset anomalies throughout Cloud Bank. Okay, anomalies of what kind? Uh, Processes are highly diverse and mutable, taking on many forms and uh, yeah, apparently capable of self upgrading or evolving into new forms. After arriving in the reality of Cloud Bank, new forms of process were observed by Royce Brackett that resembled humans or animals, including the Fetch, Young Lady, and Man variants. All forms of process are emotionless, in, uh, impl implacable, I think I'm saying that right, and single-mindedly dedicated to the task at hand in the manner of their presumed namesake. Okay. Certain entities can become assimilated in the process, as is seen when uh, Red encounters Sybil during the game, yeah. Uh, first discovered by Royce, one of the founding man's brilliant engineer, yeah, da, da, da. Mm -hmm -hmm. In doing so, he found that there was a force at work behind the scenes that facilitated change in the city's reality, invisible, tireless, and omnipresent, the process. Okay. So, wait, the process are... The pros are sounding a bit like a mix of uh, Digimon and uh, uh, Persona 3. Oh. Like the, uh, the sub, uh, collective subconscious or something. Let's see. Attempted to absorb Red into the transistor to help appease the sensational hunger of the Cloud Bank citizens. Thought to be alone, the Camerata launched their attack on Red, only for another outcome to occur. This event leads to the transfer of ownership of the transistor to Red and teleports them both to... Teleports them? What? Oh, okay, so they weren't... Okay, that explains. They weren't 
they didn't abandon the you know, transistor. Uh, they just noped the fuck out of there. I missed that. Okay. Well, uh, fuck. We lost the sword. And it, well, fuck. We lost the sword. Now what? <laughs> You're the okay. end of the world. The Camreta begin to fret due to the loss of their main resource in keeping the city alive. In order to retrieve the transistor and process red, they activate the process to retrieve the blades. The process relentlessly hinder red's process in return. The process was originally controlled by the transistor, which has been called the brush of the city. Without it, Camreta lost their control over their numbers. And instead, they began to deconstruct the town back to its basic building blocks treating the city and its inhabitants as if they were code and rewritable. Okay. So the city itself was in reality, but also the city, uh, was it, they were in reality, but they built it themselves with digital. Um, no, I think it was just, mm, I think it was just the process basically forced into reality and well, after that, they began to force the city to conform to their reality, basically terraforming the city. Let's see. Royce claims that the process comes from elsewhere and can be impelled, uh, impelled uh, to go away again. However, when Red absorbs cells after defeating elements of the process, Unknown remarks that they are back where they belong, suggesting that the elsewhere Royce refers to is actually inside the transistor. Likewise, when the first limiter is activated, unknown remarks, something's happened in here. This suggests that rather than being simply a game mechanic, the limiters are a way for the transistor to directly reconfigure the process. Okay. Huh. Uh, an early version allows Red to enter an area called Process Socket, comprised of a silhouetted side-scrolling platform with circuit lines in the foreground and background. This was described by unknown, or Mr. Nobody, as the home of the process. It contains an edifice providing root access to the transistor, which allowed Red to unlock new levels and upgrades. Okay. And that was this then. Oh, hmm. Okay, so we were sort well, of, we sort of had it with the whole Digimon-like ideas. Yeah. Hmm. Also, what is with these snapshots? Let's see. Can dodge mode attacks vulnerable afterwards? Higher clip capacity. What is there? Yeah, I, I just, I just, I just do not fully understand how the enemies work. Maybe I should have been spending more time observing them and such. Um, I know snapshots take pictures. Yeah, but it seems a bit at random to uh, when they are just snapping pictures and when they actually shoot harmful element, uh, the elements, uh, projectiles. Well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave. I'm currently, I just got my lunch. So good luck trying to figure any of this out because I have no idea what happened and I beat the game. Yeah, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's partially meant to be left unknown to let people uh, speculate. But yeah, enjoy your meal and see you next time. See you guys later. Be safe, Rob, and have a good meal. Uh, let's yes, see. Reds, da, 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 enjoy Sea Monster flatbreads, frequently performed. After a terrifying incident occurred, eventually formed a partnership with Unknown, who resides inside a weapon. Da, 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 da. Popular singer, attacked by the Camerata in an effort to kill her and steal her voice. Protected by Unknown, was mysteriously teleported across the city in the middle of the assassination attempt. Yeah, I, I I still don't buy the Camaretta's story of wanting to do good for the city when they are fucking assassinating people. Like there is there is such a there there is a saying of the needs of the many and such, but still, don't assassinate ass you know, don't assassinate people assholes. Let's see. Uh, Red is the only character other than Olmark to be listed with a single name, possibly a professional alias, rather than a given name and surname. Okay. Or just, yeah, a nickname, seeing as what it is, what Mr. Nobody keeps calling her and such. Then, then again, she was also, that was also her account name and what she was called as an artist. So, yeah, just likely a combination, alias and uh, artist name. 
Uh, various songs on the soundtracks are attributed directly to Red as her own works in universe. Okay, we become all in circles, paper boats, and the spine. Uh, posters of Red appear on walls throughout Cloudbank, which can stop to look at some in Gold Walk Plaza, as I've been there for 48 days. Later, several snapshots surround the wall of posters, taking pictures of them and ignoring Red unless provoked. Yeah, we saw that. There's an odd development in the process. It's, yeah, uh, in the pros of so, integrating unknown. Hmm? I do feel like we should probably even invest, make a quick look on Cloudbank over what the heck it is before we start the Obradian. Yeah, it is. It is just a resort town, I or resort city of sorts. From all we gathered, it is just a real place. I, I think it. I think the thing that was with it is that it basically rested on top of a tear in reality. Or at least a place where it was thinner between the, you, yeah, between the layers of reality. Hmm. hmm. Let's see. In the process of integrating unknown, a subject who had no records on file whatsoever, Red's voice was also integrated as evidenced by her function, Crash being a part of the transistor. It is likely that the transistor malfunctioned due to not knowing how to properly integrate a subject that wasn't on record, instead partially integrating the person closest to him at the site of integration. This is also likely the reason why Red and Unknown are teleported away from the empty set. Okay, so... All right, it was by the empty set, outside the empty set, where they were uh, to be attacked, but we start off somewhere completely different. That explains that. Uh, the reverse bracket explains that one side effect of killing someone with the transistor is that the device itself will take you away. Wherever you are, it'll take you away. Uh, I guess that might explain the teleportation or he's just bullshitting. Uh, let's see. Maybe. In throwing the transistor... Okay. In throwing the transistor at red, Brand inadvertently ceded user access to it, uh, losing control of the process and leaving himself vulnerable to it. Upon uh, retrieving the transistor from Unknown's body, uh, Red inadvertently signs in as its new user with the site where she laid hands on it later designated user sign-in site. Unlike all the other trace banks inside the transistor whose occupants are listed by name, uh, <clears throat> Red's trace bank is list is labeled current user. Okay. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. In throwing the dance sister at Red. Throwing? Uh, did we miss a bit there? Hmm. Let's see. When an unknown is in the transistor and unaffected by the spine, he can uh, see Red where the sky should be. Okay. Uh, a crayon associated with a news post by Amelia Garber dated the that reads performing artist uh, Red's unreachable after empty set incident despite Red's popular comments at various terminals her survival is not noted by the OVC the later posts details a vigil hmm yeah I, I think the I think the network must have gone on complete lockdown or something so that uh, actually, a bunch of them said that her comments were held for moderation or something, probably because of the lockdown. But yeah, that's why people didn't realize that she was alive. Or why we saw any other uh, comments on anything. Yeah, uh, yes, I'm back. Oh, and uh, apparently uh, Zia and from Bastion and Red have the same voice actor. Okay. What? Well Yep, both of the singers have the same name. Your name, not the name, same name, the same voice. I can see why the people would miss that, considering both burly talk. Okay, then <laughs> let's check in on the transistor. Then we'll move on to Oprah Din, since we're closing in on forty-five minutes. Let's oh see. yeah, a powerful tool should... wielded by Reds. Scratch into the Hmm. Controls the process, which is implied to originate from within it. Okay. Unknown resides within. For the majority, Red is unaware of the transistor's functionality as a tool and only uses it for combat. 
Let's see. Prior to the events of the game, Royce discovered the transistor and its power as well as the process. He was utterly fascinated by it and took to studying both, making notes of his discoveries in the form of encrypted comments within the transistor's limiters. The limiters themselves are a product of Royce's testing. He mentioned having found it near the cradle or possibly within the cradle itself. So they didn't make it. He, f he just found it. it. The transistor already existed. Okay. And the way I'm seeing here, it sounds like he... He was programming reality. Yeah. So I, I guess that's... Yeah. Cloud Bank just sits on top of a weak spot between the real world and the digital world. With the transistor basically acting as a cork of sorts. A very fancy cork. Hmm. Cork? Uh, sometime between his discovery and his studies, he granted the leader of, uh, access to it, who became the device's current user. Uh, Transistor was used to assassinate people the group deemed dangerous to their goals or useful, granting it new functions. The night before the game's opening uh, scene takes place, under Sybil's direction, the group sought out to integrate Red at the empty set, likely inciting her massive influence. Unbeknownst to everyone but Sybil, who secretly wanted to integrate Unknown, Red was not alone like every other target up until now. Mm -hmm. Unknown took the hits for her at the last second, presumably due to the fact he was an off-the-grid citizen who had no files and records. The transistor malfunctioned and integrated Red's voice, as well as you know, Unknown's trace, killing him, and teleported the pair. Yep. Mm -hmm. As a transistor requires an active connection to the cradle to maintain control of the process in the interval between Grant's loss of the transistor and Red's inadvertent user sign-in, the process escaped control and basically just ran wild. Okay. Hmm. Okay, hmm. So, so basically, uh, just slap a few things, uh, pop culture things together. The transistor is basically, uh, like a sword in the stone, only the sword, the stone is also Pandora's box. And, uh, well, <laughs> you can mix that together however you want. Okay. Uh, oh, that's actually fun. The transistor remains a utility comes in the form of multiple functions. We grant the ability to increase functionality in, sh in shaping cloud bank. Okay. So, base they were basically be you. Basically, to continue the brush uh, analog, they were, yeah, basically getting new colors to paint with. Uh, but it is a very, very hard simplification on that. I'll, I'll look more into this, the lore of this all some other time. But for now, let me turn this off. And, uh, yeah, I'll stop the recording and restart it. And, well, then we'll continue on, or then not, we'll start with uh let me close this off we'll start with the return of the Obra Dinn. so yeah, yeah. be safe everyone i see you very soon and watch out for digital seagulls <laughs> yeah until next time